In this video, we will learn how to find the tax rate that maximizes the government's tax revenue. The question is like this. A market has a demand schedule of that is P is equal to 92 minus 2Q. P is the price and Q is the quantity. And supply schedule is being given us as P is equal to 12.3Q. What per unit tax will rise the maximum tax revenue for the government? We need to find out the tax rate that maximizes the government's tax revenue. Okay. So what we are being given? We are being given the demand function is that is P is equal to 92 minus 2Q. This is our demand demand function. Okay. Also, we are being given the supply function is P is equal to 12 plus 3Q. Okay. This is our supply function supply function let's try to grab this out to understand it better so let us say we have you know we have quantity on the horizontal axis and price on the vertical axis our demand function is downward sloping so let's draw it here so this is our demand function and we are also being given the supply function with intercept uh, 12 so let's draw it here like this okay so this is our supply function <clears throat> okay so what happens initially this is our uh, demand function and this is our supply function without the tax the equilibrium will occur at the intersection of these two demand and supply functions okay so at equilibrium at uh, equilibrium demand will be equal to supply okay so actually we don't need to find out the equilibrium price and quantity here so let's first try to you know find that very also okay so when demand is equal to supply this is demand function this is supply function which implies uh you know 92 92 minus 2q should be equal to the supply that is being given us as uh, 12 plus 3q so solving for quantity so 2q transposing it will become positive so 2q plus 3q is 5q 5q will be equal to 92 so let me see we have 92 here this is 12 so 92 minus 12 so we have 92 minus 12 so 2 minus 2 is 0 then we have 9 minus 1 is 8 that means quantity will be equal to 80 80 upon 5 which comes out to be uh, 5 ones are 5 6 is 7 8 so uh, we have 30 5 6 are 30 so initially quantity that is being demanded is 16 and corresponding to this we can find out the equilibrium price before the imposition of per unit tax so simply put q is equal to 16 either in demand or supply function let us uh, put it in this supply function that means equilibrium price before the imposition of per unit tax will be equal to we have 12 uh, plus 3 in place of q we have 16 so let's write it here 16 so we have p will be equal to so we have here 12 plus uh, 3 6 are 18 uh, 3 6 are 18 3 1 are 3 that gave 4 so 48 plus 12 comes out to be 60 so before the imposition of per unit tax our equilibrium price would have been 60 okay 60 pounds now when tax is being imposed that is the per unit tax okay so uh, let me write it here when when per unit tax is imposed what will happen to our supply function so when per unit tax uh, uh, is uh, imposed our marginal cost will increase that means our supply uh, function will uh, you know shift leftwards that means we will be supplying less quantity okay then our new supply function will be so let's write it here uh, so our new supply function will be let's denote it by s dash is equal to so this is our original supply function 
ओके सो एस डैश विल बी इक्वल टू दैट इज पी डैश लेट अस से न्यू प्राइस विल बी इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व प्लस थ्री क्यू प्लस द टैक्स रेट ओके लेट अस से टी इज द टैक्स so initially this was our supply function 12 plus 3q when per unit tax is being imposed uh, our supply function will shift leftwards so let's draw it here also so it will go in this fashion so let us say it, this is our new supply function with the imposition of per unit tax okay now at equilibrium at this point we can see demand and supply functions are again intersecting with each other okay so this is our new supply function what we need to do we simply need to equate the old demand function with new supply function okay so at equilibrium again at equilibrium old demand function that is being denoted by d should be equal to new supply function that is s superscript n for the sake of simplicity that denotes the new supply function so original demand function is this uh, 92 minus 2q so we have 92 minus 2q should be equal to the new supply function that is this uh, 12 plus 3q plus the tax okay solving again for uh, let us solve it for q here so we have 2q plus 3q it will become 5q 5q so 92 minus 12 uh, comes out to be again 80 we have 80 is equal to t which implies let me see if i am doing it correctly or not so we have 92 minus 2q so it becomes 5q here Uh, transposing this so this is our <coughs> okay i hope i am making this clear here so let us solve it for q so 5q will be equal to uh, t transposing again it will become minus 80 which gives us q will be equal to this is t upon 5 uh minus 80 upon uh, 5 is 5 1s are 5 uh, 6 7 8 5 6 13 let us denote it by q star this is the quantity that will be transacted after the imposition of per unit tax that is uh, q dash okay q dash that is equal to this expression now what will be then tax uh, revenue so let's write it as government revenue will be equal to the tax rate times the quantity that is being transacted that is q star and t is as it is t and q star is uh, t upon 5 minus 16 solving it so this becomes t square upon 5 minus 16 t this is our tax revenue uh, what we call the government tax revenue so let's write it as so this is our government revenue now government revenue is maximized so government revenue is maximized when marginal government revenue is equal to zero okay so by marginal government revenue meaning means to take the derivative of this government revenue function with respect to t that means uh, d g r with respect to t and set it equal to 0 okay so uh, the condition for maximization of government revenue will be to calculate the marginal government revenue and set it equal to 0 which implies derivative of t square will be 2 t upon we have 5 here minus derivative of t in 16t will be 1 so we are left with 16 only which should be equal to 0 which implies our uh, 2t upon 5 is equal to 16 
which gives us t will be equal to 16 transposing 2 upon 5 it will become 5 upon 2 so t will be equal to 2 1s are uh, 2 8s are 60 so this is 8 5s are 40 okay so we got this very tax rate that will maximize the government's tax revenue okay so you can also draw the government revenue function here if i can so uh, let us draw another graph so we have tax rate on this side and government revenue on this side since this uh, here this is a quadratic function it will uh, look like this okay so at this point when slope of the government revenue function is equal to zero our you know government revenue will be maximum and it occurs when the tax rate is equal to 40 i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you